No, uh, every every beach it, it requires a, a different solution. And what what you did in Barbados is different than what happens on the south coast, and what happens on the south coast here in Jamaica is different than what happens on, 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 the, on the west coast. We're on the leeward, mainly we're on the leeward side of, of, the, of, of the store. And, and you know, Long Bay, which is the bay in question, is a very tranquil bay. Uh, for 99% of the time, it's, it's the, the, the wave action is very it's calm. And in the EIA report that was done, it, it claimed that the, uh, the wave action from these breakwaters would be reduced by 22%. Now, flushing. the flushing, the, 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 the natural flushing of the bay, <coughs> as it stands now, is very important to maintain water quality in spite of the fact that raw sewerage and overflow of an incomplete plant that was built by the the government in the wrong location is causing all of this problem. In spite of that, you are now going to restrict you're going to restrict the natural wave actions in the bay and the flushing of the bay is going to decrease and but I'm saying it because it's how it is is that Jamaica is trying to position itself with um, climate finances so that we're in a better position to deal with the impacts of climate change. And I think the government, well, whichever government, if that vision is needed, if we can't lose sight of that, the bigger picture. So yes, this part is not well managed, but still overall Jamaica is making sure that its citizens are protected against some of the impacts because it will get worse. So that is the reality. So I think we really have to get the dialogue more systematic because it's going to be coming back up as we seek more money to ensure. Yes. yes. So going forward on this is very, very crucial. Um, I'll take your comment then hand over to Petra. Yeah, I, I was just saying that Ms. Miller mentioned about um, communicating with the stakeholders. It's how you communicate with the stakeholders that's very important. Because you cannot just say you're doing a project and the project is already decided by a few people and then you come and present it to the community and say we've had dialogue with the community. So it's how you communicate is important. You remember that I said that the, the information available to me suggests that this project was formulated based on several and extensive stakeholder consultations and we say, so, and say subsequent to that and especially in the last couple of months we have heard especially from the Negro community that our understanding might not be the same as well not, might not be the same as, as yours I, I take the point I fully agree that consultation should be effective it's a certain way process and that is why I said that any partnership that we're going to build, we have to know to engage each other right. in meaningful conduct. Yeah. And I think this is one of the first steps in, in, in that exactly. process, and, and it should continue. Here, here. Um, here, here. Uh, Mary, I have one question. Are these white waters supposed to be green sand? No. No? They're, they're, they're designed with high permeability. So they will be habitat for spaces should provide habitat in the future. Um, another idea is to have um, them coated with, um, seeded with corals to see if they will, 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 will kick and grow out there. Um, a number of other things can be spin off from it also. So do you understand that as an engineer, structures are what you understand as the formulas and the consulting, but you have to understand that we appreciate the aesthetics here too, and it says if they're emergent and partially emergent, and you cannot stand here on a clear day on the beach in the grill and tell me you cannot see one mile or because you can see way more than that. And people here enjoy walking on the beach. And seeing nature at its best and not 
but the only way we can explain that to you is with numbers. And you can only focus at a certain angle. Yes, and I mean, they have great waters in some places, they have marbles, but they're not aesthetically pleasing. There's no way you can tell me that. Yeah. Have, you, have, you, have, you, have you seen the natural reef walking on the beach? I have been here and swam out and stood up on the reef and walked and swam and snorkeled in it from in the 60s. And does it, and does seen it, does it, it I have seen it and the reef is beautiful. Okay. Can you see from the picture? You used to be able to, not anymore. You can see them breaking. Okay. And, and you are that will impact the sea level? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Oh, explain to me. I, yes, so please explain and maybe we can it's modify. The it's, it's the aesthetics. If you, I don't know how else to explain it to you, but it's not going to be something that's visually pleasing. People care of car sales, it's a big thing. They go up on thing. They need to look down and see this massive thing in the water. Come on, one of them is like four football teams, nine football teams, why? Sorry. Well, eventually we'll cover them with read with um we'll see them and hopefully we can yes, get and them. Oh, the oh, 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 Mr. Cooney, we seem to be taking one step forward and then one step back. Absolutely. Just a few minutes ago, there was encouraging words from the Planning Institute about partnership and doing it properly. And the difficulty is, and then we step back. Now we're arguing against about great waters, and you're defending them and you're attacking them. And um, really, where we need to be, and, and you've got to understand this from the residents' point of view, because we're not in a partnership position. We're in a position where something is going to be done to us that we don't want to happen. So we do sound defensive and aggressive at times. We need, and I think, I think this was the point of your questioning a few minutes ago. We need to, uh, we we need to have a, a statement that says we're going to stop doing this. We, we, we you know, we, we're not saying you're not having a break. But what we're saying is we're going to stop saying you're going to have a break water and that's the only thing you're going to get. Yeah. What you need to be saying to us is we're well, not doing that process. until, and we sure. say this formally, we're not doing this until a proper process has been carried out. Then we don't have to have arguments every five minutes about bits of stone and stuff like that. That's not the issue. Because we have the feeling that whatever we say, it's going to go ahead anyway. From the history, we know that what's going to happen. I don't, I don't agree. I don't agree with this great water until everything is laid on the table. Yes, sir. Everybody is satisfied and we had a full understanding what will work, what will not work. And we are not here today for any organization or any institution to really shoot something down or to, to let us swallow. We are the people of Africa, we are the people of Jamaica, and we have to demand what we want, not what we want to give to us and we say, okay, you know, you know this is nice, let, let grab it up. No, we are not going to do that. We have to have proper consolation, proper uh, message, you know, you know, of what we are going you know, to get, and, and we say yes, and then we can go ahead. You know, not somebody wants to try to do things like a brute force, you have to do something, you know, and then you have to take it. No, we are not up for that. If something like that, I'm um, going to implement you know, in Negril, I am going to back up. Okay, okay so, yes, you said so. Just one final word. Uh, that breakwaters uh, uh, can can have a, a negative effect on the uh, on the, on the coast of the, the reef habitat, the habitat of the reef. It can have a, a, a deteriorating effect. It can affect uh, the natural, the, the, the coastal habitat of life on the reef. It can have a negative effect on it. And, uh, were those things taken into consideration? When, when, when the breakwater was planned. And I don't believe that coral will grow on limestone 
Boulder. What, what do they draw? Let's not go on that. I, I, yes, they, they have been taken into consideration, and the EIA is very extensive in in um in explaining what is actually at the location that it's planned for, right. and um so it, it's there there is a there is a good amount of um, information there, um, and we'll be doing that um, presentation on the second of July. Um, is two weeks away, almost. Yeah. Right, there will be a and public consultation public yeah. because we want the public to be able to ask the questions and get answers in a simplified manner to be able to make a determination as to the where, the why, the how of this breakwater and then to make a decision going forward. Are you saying the decision has not been made? I'm saying that based on the, the, the program document, a decision was made to move with that great water. But there's a process, and part of the process at, from, from, from where we, 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 we are now is the whole issue of looking at environmental aspects, and that is why the EIA process has started. Another, another aspect of that process is hearing from the stakeholders, having done that process, what they see as the the benefits and the costs and whether it is that un unbalanced, the, the proposed initiative is, be is beneficial or it's, it's not being embraced. So if it is that, it is proved that it is more to the negative than the positive, then of course nobody in their right mind is going to that. Sir? In yeah. terms of, of, of dialogue, because it is fundamentally clear that the dialogue is the issue. Um, here. There's a meeting on the second to discuss an EIA for the same reporter, yes? Yes. Today is the 19th, 19th of June. June. The window is very short. But, but the opportunity is there for people to get information between now and the second. Meaning that your, your unit to commit to, to putting some things in place to facilitate them getting the information. The document obviously needs to be read, so it has to be on a website and in certain That's locations, exactly. right. But the, the, the other thing that perhaps needs to happen is, for example, an open house. An opportunity for representatives, yourselves and others, to be here in the grill for an extended period of time, like say you came Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or something like that, different people, whatever. And it was publicized that people could come in because these documents are technical and they're hard to understand. And it could be that people will be here to answer questions of people in the community who want to know more. Because to say that there's a meeting on the second and people come to the meeting in the same space that they're in now is unproductive. But to have a preparatory process before that meeting where people could be better educated about what is in there because I don't think I'm hearing people saying no because they want to be obstinate. There's genuine distress and yeah. fear here. Yeah. Part of it is, is ignorance, and that's not ignorance in the insulting way, just absence of knowledge. And I'm talking about the need to give people that knowledge that they need. So it is not, it's not impossible between the 19th of June and the 2nd of July to facilitate some sort of open house process where people come to the grill and make that information available prior to the meeting. Because the meeting, again, is a one-off. And not enough time for people to delve into and discuss it properly. Who should do that? PIOJ would have to lead it, presumably. But, how, but here's the thing. Because there's a lot of us and them going on, and adaptation is not done by government for the country. Adaptation is a joint process. You yes. said there is no partnership and I can see that. Yes. But the partnership has to build. So I mean we're physically in couples right now. So obviously facilities can be made available. Obviously people here can speak to other people and, and advise them of what has been done. So all I'm saying is all I'm saying is that the partnership has to build from both sides. If PIOJ and the DW whomever and whatever the other acronyms are agree to come the community needs to make the commitment on their part of what they're going to put into the package to make it work. So once they agree to come in, then the question is what is coming from the other side? Because partnerships have to happen from somewhere and it has to be two ways. 
Well, we've I bring others. We I have a quick question. We've been people coming to make it to even life. A lot of the people, the last meeting we had, over 100 people were at the community center. Which so means that you, are, can, you can mobilize. Obviously, yeah, none of them have heard that this thing was happening. Right. They didn't know anything about it, so there was no partnership there. So now, they are a little bit clearer from the meetings we've had. Just a small bit clearer of what's going to happen and the impact it's going to have on us in Nigeria. So a, a, a few people are know a little bit about it. Um, I, I would go to those two comments. My observation, just a thought, is that we need to have the cost-benefit analysis of the breakwater versus the beach nourishment and what that means for us. Because if we're spending any money at all, it has to be where when the next hurricane starts coming, there is some level of protection and security. That is, to me, the bottom line. Because any way you take it, a lot so the, 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 the changes and the impacts are gonna be a lot. So it's what will be affecting you less when these hurricanes start hitting. That has to be the, the priority where you weigh the two and see what will protect you the most before any money is spent. And if the beach nourishment um, provide I, I'm very concerned about the time frame, I must tell you, because I don't think it's I think that's a luxury that Nibel, not our Jamaica doesn't have. Okay. We're already experiencing climate impact. So I don't think we have a five to ten year window to address the things. If we're not addressing them now, Nibel is going to be worse impacted. So, so, so those are some of the things. Let me just take those two comments, two hands around. Yes, thank you very much, Madam Chairman. I want to see Tumbi's body spoke about you know, the great water works in her country, Barbados is Barbados. And how you know, it could eventually work here, there was proper consultation. And the stakeholders, you know, are the, 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 the citizens of Barbados. They come together and say, yes, we want that to let, let, let it work. And then now, no, let, 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 let me tell you something. I went to you know, a meeting some years ago. I'm just saying this, you know, to say that. And I met a guy from Belize, Belize a guy from Belize who was uh, at the at meeting. And uh, you know, you know, this guy started to show off, you know, and uh, you know, you know, at how much his country is improving in terms of fishing and you know, in terms of you know, environment. And after you know, he finished the you know, show off, I took him, you know, aside. I said, how is it that your country is so successful and we in Jamaica is trying? You know, we're environment, environmental aspect you know, is concerned. Fishing, you know, is concerned, and we can't, you know, make, 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 make it. You know what the guy said to me? The guy said, I forget, you know, his name now, and if I you don't remember, you know, his name, I would not call him. You know, he says to me, we have studied your data, you know, in Jamaica, and we learn from your mistake and we learn our mistake. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you know, you know, I you know, you know, I don't want you know other country to really sit back when we go down you know the path in the wrong way. You know, they sit and laugh at us and correct themselves from our mistake. Uh, you know, so uh, you know, you know, you know, we 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 you know, there was a big water, you know, in, in, you know, you know, in Jamaica, there was not so much consultation and then it went in a direction. We don't want that. We're going to take the other direction. So we have to come to a point where we are content. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Just one final note. In, in, in Florida, on the East Coast, they do beach nourishment. They don't do a lot of great causes. I think they tried it and it caused more damage to the, to the beach next door, which could happen there because it's not doing the whole five minutes. They do beach nourishment and it works very well along Miami Beach up to Fort Lauderdale all the way up to Delray Beach. In Cuba, which is a poor country, poor country like Jamaica, they do beach nourishment on their famous Gardner Beach and, and they have success, a lot of success with it. So I don't know from when Jimmy Jackson, the late Jimmy Jackson was alive, and we were 
promoting this to the power that as, as, a, as, as a solution to the problem. Like I said, it's better than there because I, I'm not saying that most of the engineers, I know it's not sustainable and you've got to do it in control or sometimes. Or you, you have to do it every five years, ten years, depending. You don't know. You don't know how it's going to But I, I would not find the fact of what you said that it's not sustainable. But you could also say the same thing with breakwaters. If you have a hurricane and it dislodges all those stones, or it doesn't create the right uh, results, and, and you have you have uh, just as much uh, uh, beach erosion as, as before. I mean, there's no guarantees. You just don't know how you, how things are going to react with acts of God. Well, the no, no, I'm not. I don't think we can go back there because we've been going. And but I, no, the point I'm trying to say is that don't. Don't, don't say that beach nourishment is, just, is not an alternative no. solution. It's part of the integrated uh, No, I I'm didn't saying. say that. To, I, to I just break. said let's get the data, the information, to, so that we can look at the cost benefit for both options to see how we, how we can work. In order to get that data, we had contacted the Netherlands Council General of the Netherlands, and there is a company here, sorry, um, in the Caribbean right now, Bad World, and that they could only come to do the presentation on Monday coming. And they are coming to do a presentation. It's unfortunate that I think PIOJ will not be able to attend. Can you attend? PIOJ will not be able to attend. Yeah. And, um, yeah. and Anthony, I don't know. Exactly. If you will. Uh, Okay. Um, I don't know. We, I, we haven't heard of that. I haven't We've never been in dialogue with them. Actually, invitations were sent out to a lot of different organizations, but I don't think that we've ever not been in dialogue. So, unfortunately, <coughs> it's not too late to see who's more than welcome. He's here, right? Yes, right. And just leave it here. It's not what it goes. That's not how it goes. Resources are expended for, so it has to go to a channel that will verify that resources. Sure. Alright, well perhaps we can afford that. Yes, we can we can
So I'll, I'll, I'll give you the chance to that too. The subject shops may, um, as it pertains to the follow-up to the um, July meeting for the, for the, um, the, the stakeholder consultation as a part of the year in process and have the right in the open home. I'm just thinking in terms of well, the services that you offer in terms of um, media, can there be some sort of mechanism where in we utilize um, maybe the media and also technology in terms of um, bringing information across so that persons can have a you know, better understanding of going into that. Um, <laughs> I think that maybe would like yeah. to say something. Um, I think we have to be wrapping because yeah. some people need to be. Emma, you're last question. It's, it's not really a question, but just a little comment follow up. Well, a question and a comment. Following, it follows on exactly what you're saying. I think the problem is uh, communication and the proper dissemination of knowledge and information. I mean, obviously, there are gaps. Know, and, and somehow people are kind of talking past each other like this and they're really the communication is key and, and as you mentioned the media as well use them whatever it takes for everybody like sitting around the table to really understand I get the feeling sometimes that I'm not talking about anyone in particular but there are gaps in information some people maybe have information that they're not imparting other people for whatever reason and that that communication is important and the question I had was um, is the EIA available publicly is it online it is online it's at the NEPA's website the NWA website um, oh. <laughs> okay. here's an executive summary Something. here's an exe executive summary which is published <laughs> So, yeah, so you can get most of it from there. Okay. The second man, I'm just going to ask you for two minutes to let us wrap up the link. And I think you could send a link to the yeah, if anyone is interested, they can just send a link. Right, okay. So we've had yet more discussions, and I think as Keisha would have alluded to, we don't know necessarily how far we've got. So I'm going to ask a couple of clarifying questions and just reiterate some of the issues that have emerged in an effort to sort of advance the process so that at the next consultation, we are clear on what all stakeholders need to do. So first of all, we've said there is need for more consultation and that is obviously being facilitated. We have the July 2 meeting coming up. We have the June 27th um, meeting coming up. So that bit of concern, I think, is answered. <laughs> We, they, there are concerns about the sustainability of the breakwaters. Will they move, for example, how do they compare to the nourishment, the beach nourishment that is being proposed? I think if, for example, the NWA would be willing to... Well, the community is not in agreement, so I think at this stage we can sort of say if we say we haven't really signed off yet. Right, okay. So if at the... If at the... So if at the next meeting, for example, maybe, maybe based on the meeting that's coming up on Monday, the end of the day could bring their information on beach nourishment, as well as information on great waters and that information is shared, then perhaps that comparison that we talked about we could be closer to saying, well, beach nourishment versus great waters, to see if we can get up with something to make it. Is that an undertaking that the end of the day would have? Well, I, I can see that. So, so would you, no, 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 not from, not, not from on this meeting, for the, for the June, June 27th or the or the yeah. July 20th? Yeah? Okay, great. All right. Um, there's also the question of trust in the end of the day. I think um, Dr. Um, Mark here has indicated that the end of the day will not, in fact, be doing the installation, but will, will rather be doing the oversight work. Would it perhaps be helpful if the consultant who has been um, as, um, um, contracting were to show up at the next meeting to talk to people, to give us a sense of his experience, perhaps another person has installed other breakwaters elsewhere in the world, that may be helpful. Is it's that a wonderful possible? act? Do you think is that a possibility? That's a wonderful act. Yeah? To, to perhaps participate. All right, okay. Um, there's also the concern about the disruption in the town center. Again, I think a comparison of what it would take to do the beach nourishment versus the breakwaters 
if we could get a sense of, you know, would the disruption be the same, you know? Right, okay. Um, I think also a clearer picture of what exactly the traffic management plan is for all stakeholders to be clear on that. And then perhaps if some sort of other contingency could be put in place, maybe the stakeholders themselves have some definitive ideas about how traffic ought to be managed in the event of one idea or the other being pursued. Would also be, it would also be helpful. Would that, would that work? Yes. It took me 15 minutes to cross the street over there yesterday. <laughs> Okay, that's but that's no problem. That's with just normal everyday traffic. Yes, yes. but but you know I think to say fair, it's not going to be a problem. That's just ludicrous. I, but but I, I think to be fair, any work that is done in the grid to address adaptation is going to to result in some level of inconvenience. And often any any some some like and so the degree of the degree of the of the disruption is a question. But the, the fact is that are we prepared to deal with some of that disruption in the interest of our security over the long term, or there won't be a long term. Science. I, I would also love to make a point about the disruption. We've actually had some engagement with the adaptation fund, and they have in fact indicated that it is highly unlikely that the each nourishment would be covered under this aspect of the project. And why? Because of the very issues that the survey is about sustainability. So it is not any question of reallocating the monies. That is definitely open to you. Right? Um, and I think an another element of things is the contingency plan. So in the event of a breakwater movement, I mean, somebody suggested that perhaps government could put something in place to say, this is what we can do. Can insurance, for example, be sought in that event? Could we broker some arrangement with an insurance company to say if there is movement between X and Y period, then there will be some sort of backup financing for repair, etc. Et is that a possibility? You're making a face. Of the, uh, you, you know, can you query that? Is this a but do you think it's a possibility? Can we at least ask, ask the question? Right? So this is what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. If our stakeholders here could pursue with government the higher-ups to see if this is something that is a possibility, at the next meeting, stakeholders could be told, yes or no, this is not a possibility. <laughs> and then finally, there was a high degree of skepticism over the monitoring and evaluation for the installation of the great waters in the event that that emerges. Would stakeholders be comfortable were they, for example, to partner with PIOG in working through that monitoring and evaluation plan for the great waters. Is that something that will take you closer to see here in your staff on the pool? I'm, I'm seeing the lady here saying maybe. Is that a maybe at least? If you stop the bright water all together, you wouldn't have to have all these meetings anyway. <laughs> Okay. Well, one thing, yes. well, one thing that was brought up, and I think it's very important, is economically, how is this going to affect the grid? Mm -hmm. You know, we live in the age of technology. We have Facebook, we have, you know, uh, travel. Um, yes, and, you know, how are the tourists? Tourists are not going to want to wait two hours to go down the West End and two hours to come back. We might get a lot of cancellations. So economically, it's going to have a very, very uh, bad effect, negative effect on tourism for the time that this is happening. And it should not be that bad. People just won't come because they'll just say, oh, give me a, a pass this year because of all the things. So all these hotels uh, are going to lose business, and Mr. Phillips won't be able to pay the IMF. <laughs> As a community, if you want to change something, then you, know, you, you, you kind of use, you, you usually have to accept there's going to be some disruption. Yes. Like when they were, I, I wasn't here, then, but when they put the sewer in the West End, then there was disruption. But the point about a sewer is you can only put it in one place, right? And, and although you know you're saying we should, ex you know, we should, we have to think about it and get used to it, there'll be some disruption. That doesn't mean it has to be as bad as it possibly can be, because this seems to be designed to be as bad as it can be. Trying to do this from the centre of a small town like Negril, simply because the jet is there, all right? But it means dumping up some land, changing the coastline forever. We still haven't. Well, we've still got plenty of concerns about what what will be left there in terms of dumped up. Um, 
you know, so those are questions that need to be addressed as well. And right where it's going to be done, when rain falls, Negro town is on the water. The water just goes away in that spot. It goes back to the sea. When it's done, what will happen to Negro town? It will remain on the water. Sensible. Okay, so, so that's where we are, ladies and gentlemen. I think we ourselves have agreed that these are some of the contending issues. And if we're able to satisfy some of the, the, the queries that have been issues that have been put on the table here at the next consultation, then we, we would have taken at least one step further. Now, from Panis's part, to help advance that, certainly we will compile a report from this consultation here and we will advance it to um, share with PIOJ, including, of course, the, the lady who is in charge of that organization, as well as with the Ministry of Tourism. And we will try to do that with enough time that people are able to respond at least in part to the heart of concerns that have been raised and in time for the next consultation. All right? You know, can I just make one final comment, please? As a resident of Jamaica, from their resident, just not a one month, two month, three month tourist, I've lived here for an extended period of time. What are the main reasons? Curious. I'm sorry, what? Can't hear you. you can't hear me? No. That's the first time anyone's ever said that in my entire life. Okay. Um, I, you know, I have lived here an extended period of time. One of the main reasons I moved here, contrary to what people say about ladies coming to Jamaica, was I came here for the sea. All right? The sea is going to be forever changed. Forever changed. But that's, that's something that's left to be decided yet. My point that I personally want to make, as loving Jamaica, this is going to impact all of Jamaica, not just the girl. And it's not going to be a pretty impact. But I think it's very, very, very sad that here we are on the 19th of June, right? Today is the 19th of June. The meeting is the 27th of June. The next meeting is July 2nd. Now, if you're standing up here, that lovely lady that gave out instructions to NWA, what we need to know. Why didn't we, why weren't we provided? Why wasn't there a town meeting call? And we and the stakeholders, not only the hotel, hotel, hotel you know what I'm saying, but the residents, the fishermen, everybody. Not everybody has the internet, you know, that they can go and sign a petition or pick up everything. So there's people, and we all know, that there's people that can't read or write it, okay? So telling them, oh, well, the petition's online, that, that makes me want to hit somebody. You know, I mean, really, seriously. But my point is, it's extremely sad in my mind and my heart that this, whatever this was started, and none of, I don't think any of us really know, do we, the date that this was started? We accidentally found out about it. But we are given now with the two-week two period to get all these answers. We should have been consulted, but whatever this. Okay. Thank you very much for listening to my little tirade. We hear the frustrations and we understand, but part of it going forward is that we are all agreed that there needed to be more done. But how do we move it forward from here? But thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for the time. We will, tomorrow we will reconvene some of the group that's here. And I think we will be brainstorming on how else we can be of benefit to solve the solution. Mary is a part of that, and so hopefully we'll be able to feed back to you as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.